Hello, welcome to Satisfactory Update 6. This is Maker Gaming with episode 29. Um, yes, in the last episode we finished the circle, the base circle for the tower. And uh, we had kind of put up some of the structure. Uh, and in between episodes I actually swapped these. So the concrete's now the foundation, which makes more sense. And then the walls are going up. Uh, just kind of the color swatches that I was kind of looking at change that pattern also um, out of these kind of pillars just to add to the uh, structure of holding up a giant tower and then I also uh, made a smaller circle over here over this circular island And did the same thing with the uh, markers coming out in different, um, in this case, every five meters or every five foundations. So yeah, we went through a whole lot of concrete, uh, pretty much all of it. So this episode, I need to upgrade my concrete production and I'm going to make a circuit factory um, probably around canyon or by the plastic factory get into the next spot I need to uh, find where the power needs to be connected. Probably where the hypertube drops down the bridge. is officially hooked up uh, all the way to the tower um, we will make power more organized after we get our fuel generators going in the uh, spire coast once we have that kind of power then we will distribute it better but for now circuits all right assembler circuit boards uh, four plastic to every two copper sheets. Uh, okay, we'll figure out what we can do with that. We're getting, what, 20 plastic a minute from one refinery? So we'll probably have to up that. And we'll probably just be working with one assembler worth of circuit boards for now. Well, I'm thinking of something that's starting to bridge the gap between the canyon and the Spire Coast. So we're already kind of doing that with the oil production, so maybe we make the circuits around here. I mean, there's not much to it. quick spot here uh, I don't think this is exactly where I want it though but let's see what we want we're just gonna do one uh, so that's gonna be 15 a minute and 30 a minute all right so we can get 40 plastic out of that That'll give us what we need here, and then we'll have 10 extra to storage. Uh, copper sheets, 15 a minute. That doesn't seem like much at all. 
Yeah, so we only need 30 per minute coming in. But I'm going to move this area slightly. Be right back. So we have our foundation. I think we're going to go uh, fix it foundation on top. Whoops. We need plastic and we need two copper. All right, we're going to merge these. going in there and we need 10 going in here all right so let's go get 30 copper sheets or uh, 30 copper ingots set up a splitter here Pretty much done just taking this one off um, doesn't need it oh wow they had a galaxy I think they updated their stars. They used to be in that repeating pattern. I didn't. I don't think I met, saw that in the uh, patch notes. But that's definitely a new change. Interesting. The clouds uh, in the space in the night. It looks good. I like that effect. All right. So, anyways, this will get us circuits. Um, We'll have copper ingots, sorry. Copper ingots coming in here, 20 for 10 on this and 10 for 5 in that. That'll give us 15 coming out. That'll feed that up, and then we need 30 per minute, so we change the second one of the refineries to plastic, and that'll give us 40. We'll uh, store 10 and send 30 this way. Um, so yeah, we'll get that going, and then we'll have a constant circuits being built. I remember saying I'd try and use more lights. I'm working out. In the dark. If we're going to double the plastic production, we need to get rubber going somewhere else, so... I mean, that is what we're going to do. Switch that now. Alright, what I'm 
I'm thinking is a merger. Goes out that way. And a splitter. Goes out that way. Alright, so 20 coming in from here, 10 coming in from here, that'll be 30 coming out. Alright, this isn't optimal, but I want to get circuits going quickly. Because then I want to get concrete going quickly. Because we need concrete building constantly now. Alright, let's have the battle. We got our uh, plastic coming in. 30 a minute. I promise lights. We'll do lights. Just gonna put the power right through there. Nothing to it. Now we just need copper ingots. Thirty minute. Once we get that on, that's gonna do what? Four, four, and maybe twelve, eighteen megawatts. That'll be fine on our consumption. We're going to get a little bit closer when we double up the oil production. These refineries are a lot more expensive than the 4 megawatt constructors. Alright, let's find our best copper. First thing, how much copper is coming in here? Fifteen. Alright, so we have sixty here. something coming out. We'll stop that for now. So we have 60 a minute. I'm uh, guessing we're producing 120 up there. Uh, let's go find out though. We want to know exactly what we have. Alright, so we're back to the source, just to know definitively what we're bringing. We have a 20, 120 coming out. Looks like we have Mark II belts already. Yep, 30 going into each. Alright, so it looks like we have 120 going all the way down. Uh, we probably have a problem now though, because we just took off that um, that belt to the awesome sink. So now we're not sinking the full 120, so it's getting stuck already. So we're taking 60 off there. Or we're, we're taking the full 120, but we can make it 60 by... Let's see if we just... Do that. Connect it across. And let's try to try a splitter.
Okay, so that works. Now we have 60 going out and 60 coming out this way. We just got to route it up there. There we go. Now, would it be nice to have an organized path to bring all of my materials in? Yes. Um, that's the wrong direction. But is that going to stop us from doing what we need to do to get going? No, it's not. Swap the direction. Bring it down. Alright, so there's our 60 copper that we don't... Uh, we only need half of it. Let's uh, record that somewhere so we don't forget. Or not. All right, those should start turning green. There we go. That's our first copper sheets being produced. Uh, those should start slowly making their way to the assembler. The assembler should turn green. That means we're making our first circuits. First automated circuits underneath the, uh, the arch. There we go. We'll prime it a little bit. Ready to go. Alright, so uh, we let that run while we set up the concrete. By the time we're done with that, we should be able to uh, start thinking about... Hold on, what just happened? Oh, there we go. I thought I ran out of concrete. That was scary. Um, but yeah, we need to get the copper going, or the concrete going. And then uh, we can get one step closer to unlocking those radar towers. Alright, I think we can call that complete, um, at least for this episode. Um, that is a building, and it makes circuits. Um, consider that a circuit board factory. Um, we'll probably hit the other two up uh, in the next two episodes. Uh, so now with the main thing done for this episode, let's get concrete uh, sped up. Once we get concrete sped up. Um, we can do more base building and more building period. Uh, we're getting closer to fuel. Once we get that fuel, we, uh, we unlock a lot more power and we can start making all these builds, uh, produce more and more. I do like that we're finally starting to get a little, uh, crowded here. Just in view, uh, just out of view, we got the oil production. Now we have a circuit factory there. We have a stator factory there, concrete there, motor factory there, um, resources kind of going through the level here, steel foundry there, quartz factory there, the waterfall up there, um, copper miner there, iron miner there, concrete miner up there. So yeah, and I like to do them all at different angles. Um, I don't want them all to match up, be all square, and we can figure out neat uh, ways to connect the buildings, incorporate them to each other later on. It'll just be another problem to solve. Alright, so let's triple up this concrete. I was just reviewing the last clip and I noticed from overhead 
Uh, looking down from the waterfall, I cannot believe this. I only ever connected one of these. So, this is especially important what we're doing right now. Um, I did the math. Uh, we're going to get a Mark II belt, or a Mark II miner, up there at the copper. That'll produce 240, then we're going to add one um, power shard. And overclock that to 270. We'll put Mark III belts all the way down. Uh, we'll add three more machines. That's uh, six machines, 45 going into each one, 15 coming out of each. So uh, we'll go from this 15 a minute that we have right now, uh, and we'll increase that to 90 a minute. So I'm going to get that started. I'm going to add these two uh, mergers, and then I'm just going to build a second floor and build this exact setup on the second floor. So uh, see you in, in a second. Make that. So make that a 270 coming in. That's a splitter, so we can split off. Um, we'll need to upgrade that all all the way down the line to Mark Three. We'll put a Mark Three there. So if we can't line it up the exact same. Splitter here. So we got splitters on this side. We're gonna do mergers over here. All right, that should be everything. Just gotta belt it all up. Alright, we have Mark III everywhere on that side. Oh wow, did he get aggressive from the update? I don't want to fight you, buddy. all the way up, get every little piece upgraded to three. You know, earlier I said copper miner, I meant uh, this miner.
All right, here we go. Uh, this actually, is this our, this might be our first Mark II Miner. Not our last. All right, usually what, five megawatts? Now it's 12. Not bad, totally worth it. All right, we're now producing 240 a minute. We still need to overclock that to 270, but that is gonna get us uh, most of the way to our goal. So let's get this powered up and then we'll go p collect our uh, power shards from the Spire Coast. All right. Uh, I think that's it for construction. Where do we power this off? What wall? Uh, yeah, let's try and do that on the outside for that one too. All right, that powers that up. I'd hope to get those going all three together, but I forgot to assign them. But that's all three now. And like we forgot to do with the last one, let's just make sure all three are producing and sending. There's our first problem. We don't have it. I shouldn't jump anymore. Keep almost killing myself. So that's already a Mark II. There we go, perfect. Not really perfect at all, but we're up to 90 a minute. That's what's important. We have Mark III most of the way, might as well take it all the way back. All right, that building got a little, a uh, little bit taller. That's not good. Try redesign that. Uh, you know me. Right now, I just I keep wanna keep wanna. Uh, moving up the milestones, I want to upgrade every episode. Um, we can make things pretty when we've got the fuel generators going. Have a, a lot of power and a, a lot of need for uh, bigger productions. Alright, so that's everything I promised in the episode. But I do want to, before we go... Uh, decorate this building a little. Uh, that's just uh, extra boring the way we left this one. And this is a circuit board. This is a complicated piece of machinery, so we should have a little bit better of a building. So let me think on that for a second. Look at it for a second. A lot of green, a little bit of this fix it yellow, some b black, gray metal uh, highlights. Maybe we do something like that.
Alright. That's our go by. Uh, is that close? Now it needs to be a little more yellow. Let's start with that. 127, 1. I mean, we go darker. More yellow. I think that's pretty close. Pick up some quartz and some silica. I'll be right back. I think that's a pretty good indicator of the uh, yellow in the circuit. Do something like... It's going to be hard to color the ones that are stuck on the same level as uh, the window. You might have to paint them and then re-put those there. not quite as microchippy as I wanted. See if there's something we can do. like this. This makes it a little more interesting.
All right. I like that. Uh, I'm just going to do that to all four sides. And we'll call it. This one, we're just going to add this one little piece just to help that uh, blend in a little better. And we repaint. Actually, let's just get all, all the walls done first. That's probably the fastest method. All right, that was the last wall. Uh, now we just got to repeat the colors and then some of the patterns with the steel beams. To kind of look like the circuits. Alright, that's it for the color. Just put the windows back. And add the details and we'll be done. Promises. Some more light. Oh, there's a bit of view of the galaxy. All right, well, I was going to wait till the daytime to uh, end the video, but with all the lights, uh, I think you can see the effect I'm going for here. Uh, I think we did a pretty good job. Uh, we're imitating the circuit board. So, yeah, I think coming up from the hill, we'll be able to tell what building this is. And, uh, yeah, so we got our concrete going. That'll start collecting. We'll get to more uh, base building next episode.
probably look at uh, one of these factories too. Probably the lim AI limiters. Um, so yeah, we'll do both of those uh, in the next video. Thanks for watching and uh, see you soon.